I believe Iyana might have unfixed the bitch life. Did you guys catch this season of Iyana Fix My Life? This was the first episode of the new season. I was really disappointed in this episode of Iyana Fix My Life, but I'm going to tell you guys why. So the backstory to this episode is with a girl whose birth name is Kamaya. Now the story with Kamaya is this girl was abducted at birth. Her 16 year old mom had just had her and this woman came and stole Kamaya and just walked right out of the hospital. So Kamaya's birth mother writes into Iyana. She's wanting to fix their relationship to Kamaya. Her and Kamaya haven't had a relationship her whole life until recently where Kamaya opened up to a friend about the fact that her mother stole her from her birth mother. Uh, this information got out. They prosecuted the woman who was posing as Kamaya's mother and she's now in prison and Kamaya has now been reunited with her biological family. And the struggle with this family is that they want to, they want Kamaya to completely withdraw, reject, expel, and dead their relationship to the woman who stole her. The issue is Kamaya loves this woman. And so Ayana steps in to help Kamaya deal with any feelings, any internalized frustration or lack of identity or the potential of, of a identity crisis. And she's wanting to jump onto this immediately because she feels like Kamaya will later on in life evolved to be an angry black woman and all of these feelings about being abducted and being lied to by someone who was posing as her mother and then the stress of trying to integrate herself back into her biological family is all going to culminate in Kamaya having a lot of issues mentally and a lot of issues emotionally. I'm going to talk about the part that bothers me. Now Iyana is doing what the fuck she does. She's a teacher, she's a guru, she's a life coach. Um, she's a spiritualist. She does all that. She comes to heal the slay. She's the black fucking Medea. But my issue is that it felt like this was forced. It felt like Iyana was trying to get Kamaya to accept things about herself, to accept feelings that she may be feeling, thoughts she may be thinking, questions she may be having that Kamaya just didn't give a good damn about. Yana was trying to be as subtle as she could without being like aggressive about it. Kamaya was just straight on chill mode. She was like, my mom did, cause she still calls the woman who kidnapped her, her mom. She says, my mom did something wrong. I completely agree. She should be punished and should be put in jail. You know, I love her and I want to have a relationship to my biological family as well, but my biological mother has an issue with me still continuing in a relationship to the woman who took me from her. My honest opinion based upon the whole episode was that Kamaya really isn't the one who's traumatized or needs the help. The people who actually needed the help are the people around Kamaya, her father, and also her biological mother. These are the individuals who have to deal with all of the feelings of their child being abstracted from them before they even got a chance to celebrate a first birthday, before they even got to bring her home and hold her in their arms. They have to deal with the fact that this child has been, has had a whole nother life, has whole other attachments to things that have nothing to do with them. And I would imagine being the biological parents of a child who was abducted at birth, there's lots, there's an avalanche of feelings and thoughts and all type of internalized shit that's being resurrected and, and, and regurgitated out of my spirit as I'm embracing the fact that my child is back into my life and also having to do with the complexity of the fact that my child is in no way of judgment about the life that she's been afforded to live with this woman who stole her from me because this woman happened to be good to her. I feel like the reason why Iyana kept hitting the brick wall with Kamaya was because 
Iyana could not accept that Kamayo had not been traumatized by her experience. And how could she be? This is all that I've known for 18 years of my fucking life. This woman was good to me. She was a mother to me. She was supportive of me. I graduated high school. I had a great life. And so even though the circumstances around how I ended up with this woman are completely bizarre, criminal, and wrong in every capacity, the reality that I was put in was one that was loving. And so I felt like Iyana was trying to get Kamaya in a sense to unlove her experience with this woman. Iyana asked her, did you ask her why she took you? And then Kamaya said, yeah. And she said it was just the state of mind she was in at the time. And then Iyana was like, are you mad that she lied to you? Are you mad that she didn't say anything to you until you're not an adult? And Kamaya was just like, girl, I don't know. Y'all got some Kool-Aid in this motherfucker. Like, y'all making this deeper than it really is for me. Like, the woman that I know all my life is put in prison. Okay, cool. She lied. She had me at birth. She lied and took me from my birth parents. Okay, I'm now with my birth parents. I love them. I want to know them. I have a great relationship to my father that we'll build that we're building. My mother and I relationship is strained because she is not emotionally coping with the fact that I'm back in her life and with the fact that I still have a reverence for the woman who kidnapped me. So I just felt like Iyana just kept reaching and reaching and reaching. And then Iyana made it her point to antagonize. Kamaya in a attempt to crack her open and to see if anger and Kamaya lashing out would leave Kamaya in enough of a vulnerable state for Iyana to then go in and see what the real feelings were because Iyana was just convinced that Kamaya was just withholding her real feelings. I don't feel like Kamaya was. I feel like Kamaya is just a very simple girl. She had a great life with somebody who stole her. The fact that she was stolen doesn't change how she feels about this woman. It don't change how she feels about the quality of life that was given to her by this woman. She's very happy to have had this life. And she's also totally okay with getting to know her biological family. And that's it. And so I felt like the people who Iyana should have been fixing was the parents. They're going to struggle the most. It is an awkward situation when your child wants to continue to befriend and be in relationship to their abductor. That's very troubling. Even though this woman is incarcerated, so she doesn't pose as a physical threat. Um, and she's doing time in federal prison. But even the emotional relationship and mental relationship that Kamaya has to this woman bothers her parents. And that's just the part. The parents going to have to eat it. The parents gonna have to fucking eat it. Y'all gotta eat it. Y'all would just have to be happy that y'all got Kamaya back, that justice was served, that this woman has been prosecuted. She's serving her time. You have your daughter back. Stop focusing on Kamaya's relationship to that woman. That woman poses no physical threat at all anymore. And now just focus on reconciling with your daughter and coming into understanding about what the next chapter of this needs to look like between y'all and her. Here it is, you have your daughter back. You know she's gone through this experience. And then you abandon her in an opportunity for y'all to have some reconciliation and healing and perspective about what has happened. And you leave her to face Iyana by herself. So. I was more offended that Kamaya was there by herself. I was more offended that Kamaya was the person who everything was being projected on. Because Kamaya seemed to be okay. Now, when Kamaya flipped the fuck out, you know, it was hard to motherfucking watch. And even if Kamaya would have been Iyana's age, it would have been hard to deal with. Because Iyana is such a strong quality beautiful black woman and to see somebody being so aggressive to towards her whoo it was a lot at the same time i could understand kamaya's response because i felt like kamaya was agitated a long time ago during the episode i felt like kamaya kept feeling like iana was poking and poking and poking and the fact that iana was like your people are not going to answer your phone. You're staying here for the night. You can go, but I want you to stay here. And even if you choose to go, I've put your people on assignment so they won't be answering your phone calls. I felt like it, it had hit a boiling point. But the way that some people are kind of perceiving Kamaya's outburst is that, oh, this girl is troubled and she was being so disrespectful and she's a hothead and she just blew up 
what we see is her blow up, but I felt like Kamaya was holding her aggravation in the whole time. I just felt like she kept thinking to herself, why this woman keep trying to make me feel things I don't feel? Why she trying to get me to think things I don't think? Like, she's asking me questions. I'm giving her my honest response. She don't believe me. I'm here for hours at this point. We're filming this shit. I'm continuing to be asked the same shit, just in a different way. I just felt like when everything hit the fan, Kamaya, it was just like the whole day had bottled up and she just let God and let have. Now, Iyana still should have slammed you to your motherfucking face and monkey stumped your ass through the front porch, but I'm glad that Iyana knew not to do that, especially since her intention was to upset her. So I felt like that's why Iyana was so well poised during the altercation. She wanted to see that out of Kamaya. She wanted to open her up, get her to feel something so that hopefully a further conversation could happen. Kamaya left and I don't really know where things stand, but my prayers are to Kamaya and her family. I thank God that even though she has been, that she was abducted, that this woman treated her well because it would have been a lot. To, Kamaya would have been a real fucking mess had not only she been abducted and lied to her whole life, about her whole life, but if this woman would have mistreated her, sexually abused her, emotionally abused her. So justice has been served. Her biological mother left her ass you know, to do the show herself. So this speaks to the mindset of the parents. Kamaya, in all of this, still participated, still saw it through, still tried to have the sit down. She communicated what she felt was her honest, real feelings, and that wasn't good enough for the process. Then she was antagonized and provoked into an angry reaction. And now it's left the audience looking at Kamaya as the horrible one because what I saw in that reaction was not a traumatized, damaged little girl. I just saw a bad ass, spoiled ass, young kid. She said that the life she had with the woman who kidnapped her was good. So I saw spoiled attitude and I saw like urban influence in her reaction. But even in her reaction, I did not see damage. I did not see it as related to what she had been through related to any of that it was just spoiled as fuck you know and and and, and it was telling in the way she spoke about her dad now he's gonna listen to me he do what i say children who are spoiled children who are used to getting what they want they speak like that and she's had a great life and obviously her biological parents are still spoiling her over in material things so that was just spoiled as behavior you guys tell me what you guys think of the episode subscribe comment rate Hit that notification button and I will see you guys later. One.